Zach. Welcome back to the Heroverse. And guys, I just got done with Obi Wan Part Three. Um, great, great episode. Um, we saw Bayer a lot in this episode, uh, especially like he actually went to the planet that Obi Wan was on, that uh, Haja, that which is Kumail's uh, character that was in the last episode that sent. Obi-Wan and Leia to this planet saying, okay, like you're going to head to this planet. There's a rendezvous there. They'll help you get where you need to go. They end up getting there. But of course they're like, this is an Imperial place that has a lot of like, it's like a farm abandoned area, but like the Imperials have taken over the place. That, um, and they have to secretly try to figure out where the rendezvous is. They end up finding out where the rendezvous is. But of course at this point, um, you know, uh, Reva knows that Obi-Wan is on this planet because of the transport ship that was leaving the last planet that they were on. So she pretty much, you know, tells, tells Vader, I know what planet he's on. And, and at this point, he's like, he can, he knows what Reva wants. He knows that I, I he's like, I, know, I sense what you want. And if you do this, you will become, you know, Grand Inquisitor if you do this for me. But if you fail, you won't, you won't live to, you won't live to see your failure or something like meaning like you won't live if you fail. So of course we, we do get to see the Inquisitor's compound in this episode, which was really cool to see it. And of course she was talking to the other Inquisitors saying, look, you know, I got put in charge of the hunt. I am in charge as of right now. And I guess the, 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 the brother Inquisitor wants to become the Grand Inquisitor. Like I guess he's second in line. So he wants to be the main Inquisitor, but of course, you know, Vader said to Reva, if you do this, you will become Grand Inquisitor. So you kind of have some rivalry there. Um, both of them want to become Grand Inquisitor, but if, if, it, if it's being, if it's, if anything's set and done, it's kind of set and done in the fact of she is the one leading the hunt and she is the one that has been able to find Obi-Wan after all these 10 years of all the other Inquisitors failing. She is the one that found him. So right now, Vader's kind of favoring her, favoring her in the fact of, okay, you, you, you did find him. You can lead the hunt, um, but, you know, don't take him. I want, I want to be the one to deal with him. And, you know, it's crazy because when, when, when even Reva mentioned to, Lord, to Vader, like, oh, you know, like, you know, Obi-Wan killed uh, the Grand Inquisitors. Like, I could care less about the Grand Inquisitor. I mean, he doesn't care about the Inquisitors. He just wants them to do his bidding. He does not care about them at all. Um, which is very, uh, you know, like, uh, it's, which, which is very, like, connected to the lore of that he just does not give a crap about the Inquisitors. Um, so I love how, at this point, you know, she's leading the hunt. You know, Obi-Wan and Leia are on this planet. They get help from a farmer that works for, you know, for work, that works for the, uh, you know, the, you know, imp the, uh, the Imperial stuff. Like, you know, he works for them, farming for them, because they've just taken over, you know, this planet. And they think that they're going to have, like, he leads them to, like, I guess, a, a gate check where he has to, they have, he has to check or whatever. Like, there's, like, transport gates, I guess, that you know, he has to go through, like, precautions. And I guess he wanted to go there because they, he knows at this point that there have been a Jedi on the loose. And he wants to see if, like, this is the Jedi that he said that they could come on board to take them to the where they need to go. To go to another transport unit or, I guess, another hangar bay so they can leave the planet. And of course, the dude literally, you know, betrays them. Essentially, the, the stormtroopers end up finding out that they are actually is Obi Wan, the person that they were looking for, and that is Leia. He has to get out of it. He shoots his way out of it. Then that's when they run into the uh, the the actual, you know, people that they were supposed to meet up. The Haja sent them to go meet up with so they can get Leia where she needs to go. And at this point, they have a tunnel system that I guess will smuggle them out uh, off the planet so they can get them out of there. And this, and Obi-Wan hasn't been the first Jedi that has went through this transport unit, I guess, that, like, that these, uh, that these, uh, rebels pretty much sneak them through to get out of there. You know what I mean? To help, like, you know, the Jedi and help, you know, people try to get away from the Empire. So I, I really did, did find that cool that, you know, there was markings of the Jedi on the wall and Obi-Wan knew who it was from. And I just thought that was really cool. On top of the fact that actual like, Vader came to the planet. So we actually got to see Vader in action in this episode. Like this was a, a, a big, like very heavy Vader episode. And we, we did get to see the fight between Obi-Wan and Vader. It did not go the way I thought it was going to go. But I mean, what else, what other way could I have thought it would have went? You know, you know, Obi-Wan hasn't used the force in like 10 years. He hasn't been training in 10 years. Of course, he's going to be scared on the fact that, you know, he just found out that, you know, Anakin survived and he did become what 
Obi-Wan did not want to happen. And he thought, you know, he did take him out, but he turns out he's still alive and he's, and he's had this grudge against Obi-Wan all this time. So, of course, he's a little kind of afraid of him. At this point, like, Obi-Wan fears, like, Darth Vader like he's a boogeyman and he's scared of him. And, like, you know, there was a moment where they did fight with their lightsabers, but it was more, not even just more of a fight. It was more that the fact of, like, Obi-Wan was just trying to defend himself and just hold all the slashes that Vader was trying to do to him and pretty much was just running away and just trying to get away from him and trying to borrow time so that way the other, uh, that way the person can take Leia off the planet at this point. Like, he's going to be the distraction while that one girl that they met takes Leia off the planet and can get her the safety and get her where she needs to go. So he's kind of like the distraction right now for Vader. So that way, of course, you know, because if he discovers Leia, he'll discover, like, that is his daughter. And then he'll discover that, oh, you know, I have a son out there. And he'll discover Luke. And it could just be a whole mess of things. So I just love that he's the distraction, but it's like really hard for him to stand up to Vader. Like, again, he wasn't using the force in this fight, Obi-Wan. He was just igniting his lightsaber, trying to get away from Vader, trying to distract him. But there comes to a point where Vader literally forces him up, lights a thing, lights like this whole ground on fire somehow from like the construction on this on this planet. I guess there, there there's these igniting things and pretty much he ignites it on fire and at this point, he's about to, he drops Obi-Wan in the fire and says, you know, you're going to feel how high, how I felt and you're going to feel my pain and stuff. And pretty much we do see Obi-Wan like burning, which I was like, oh my God, I can't believe this is happening right now. He just, you know, is getting his ass beat. And of course the one girl leaves Leia and says to Leia, okay, go to the end of the tunnel. I'll be there in a minute. I'm going to go help Obi-Wan. And that's not what Obi-Wan's wishes were. He said, get her to where she needs to go. I'm going to be the distraction. But she leaves Leia. And right away, I was worried about that because there are other Inquisitors on this planet. Reva's here. The the other brother's here and the other sister's here. So I'm like, okay, like this isn't good. So at this point, they're searching the planet for, of course, you know, Leia. And they're searching the planet for anything, any other people that are being smuggled out off the planet or anything or anybody that's involved with Obi-Wan here. Um, so she leaves, goes to help, you know, Obi-Wan because, you know, Vader turns off the fire after, you know, Obi-Wan got burned at this point and says to the troopers, you know, bring him to me and, t and take him. Let's go. And of course, that's when the girl has the blaster, ignites the fire again. And they, and also this girl that's helping Obi-Wan has a droid it's like a medical droid it seems like or maybe it's like a worker droid i'm not quite sure but the like that worker droid went to go get obi-wan to take you know obi-wan and um take obi-wan to like i guess a, a nearby planet that he needs to get you know medical attention you know for his you know his burn wounds that he has now from being in the fire and it's going to be interesting to see now the fact that reva pretty much beat you know leia to the end of the tunnel which i wasn't quite I didn't understand how she was able to do that because there was only a one-way tunnel to the end of the thing. I don't understand how she was able to do it so fast. Um, so that was just very interesting to me that now Re uh, Reva has Leia. So and now Obi-Wan and this droid and, and this girl are leaving the planet without Leia. So it's going to be very interesting to me to be like, what? Like, is, is, is Reva going to keep... Leia with her just to, you know, make Obi-Wan want to come after her more. And I'm thinking, is there a chance, like, will Darth Vader somehow find out, you know what I mean? Like, will, like, will be around Leia? Will he, will he feel anything around Leia? Because I'm feeling like if Reva takes Leia to wherever, and let's say Vader's there, but Vader really never leaves his castle only for the situation of they found where Obi-Wan was. That's the only reason why he left on Mustafar and left, you know, his castle. So I don't know. He might just go back to Mustafar while, you know, the Inquisitors go back to their compound and she might take Leia to that compound. And maybe he has to, he will have to go to that compound. I'm not quite sure, but, and maybe do a rescue mission. Who knows? I'm really curious to know what the next three episodes will be like. Um, and I do know that there will be another rematch after he's done healing, probably in the back to tank, you know, he'll, he'll heal. He'll probably fight Vader again, probably in the finale. And maybe then that's when he'll be, you know, not as rusty and, you know, he'll be more connected to the force. Who knows? But I'm just really excited to see where it's going to go. I'm really happy with what the show is doing. Um, because now this, this makes, you know, this is like, you know, making more things interesting. Now the fact that Reba has Leia now. And, you know, Obi-Wan is injured and he needs to get, you know, you know, he needs to, you know, 
get you know get treated for his wounds and then go back out and have to fight vader and all them again so i'm just excited to see what the next episodes will bring um also guys i really already talked about this topic yesterday about moses ingram and all the you know all the shit that's going on with you know people you know treating her badly and just saying crude crude things i already talked about this on my tiktok go check out that video i'm just disgusted in that side of the star wars fandom that had the nerve to go to and go to her instagram and say racial slurs and sexist things to her i'm just ashamed at that side of the star wars fandom um i love when ewan mcgregor came out defending moses ingram that that was beautiful to have the cast, you know, come out defending her. I I was it was just really great to see. It was it's really great to see all everybody all, all us, you know, non toxic fans. You know, I, I've seen a whole bunch of videos of people defending her, which I was super happy to see us fans come out and you know defend her because I mean that's that's what it's about is us as a family as a unit, and and us you know going against the toxic people. And, you know, pretty much saying do better because, you know, they need to do better that, you know, there there is no room to be racist and toxic and just, you know, crude, especially about a character you don't like. You you don't, you cannot like a character, but the fact that you're going to somebody's Instagram of somebody that's playing the character and saying all this shit to them is just unacceptable. It's not cool. It, it, it's not funny. It's just, it's ridiculous. But I made a video on that, so go check out that video. It's up on my TikTok. Go follow my TikTok. All of my, go follow my Instagram. All that stuff's down in the link in bio. Um, and, or I guess it's in the description. Um, but yeah, guys, uh, that was the video. Again, here, if you're new to the channel, subscribe to the channel, put in the notifications, like this video. We'd love to have you guys here, a part of the fam, a part of the channel. We're all about spreading love, positivity, and motivation. And guys, yet again, we are almost to 600 subscribers. Right now, we're at 525, almost to 600. My goal is to get to 600 before the end of June, but my initial goal is to get to 1,000 before the end of this year. And I know we can do that. We have a lot of content coming out this week with the first probably three episodes, if not the first two episodes of The Boys Season 3 dropping this friday on top of my fantastic beast and the and the secrets of dumbledore uh review spoiler review will be dropping on saturday i think on top of you know miss marvel coming out soon and of course umbrella academy coming out i think it's june 21st or 22nd if i'm correct so we just have a lot of content coming out on top of july 1st we have the the last two parts of stranger things season four we'll have episodes eight and nine dropping on july 1st which i'll be putting my spoiler review out for that when that drops um also i already have um i already have my like the first parts of you know my first uh, part of season four of stranger things spoiler review already up on the channel so go check out those my episode one and two spoiler review for uh you know stranger things season four on top of my initial spoiler review until we get the last two episodes come july 1st but yeah guys that was the video i hope everybody has a great day a safe day and i cannot wait to come back next wednesday for uh part four peace mm -hmm.